Welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And your boy, Stanley. Alright, we're gonna hurry up and get through this because we gotta go to church. And yeah. uh, y'all don't know what church is, that's over there at Calvary. Yeah. Green leaf. No, no, no. It's the holy convocation we gotta get to. It's the holy convocation. Yeah. I'm supposed to be leading praise and worship, and I'm over here fooling with y'all. So don't tell nobody. But <laughs> I'm gonna sneak up on the pulpit right when it's time to do my solo. Oh, we reach it. Hey. <laughs> so I didn't really expect this to be a good episode, but it was good as hell, yeah. y'all. Hey. It's about time. I, I, I'm even scared to even give Tyler any credit. I know because he's gonna turn around and buck us next week. <laughs> Buck us, no loot, yeah. no comment. Uh, yep, straight, raw dog. Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the usher. Leave, no leave the nuts hanging, leave the nuts hanging out like the hard twins say. So, Haunted by the surname. Yeah. So, when I go to church, I'm gonna take Candace with me, and I'm gonna take Melissa with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get Wyatt out the way because Wyatt was dead a whole season. We didn't miss him. Um, then he's alive, and we we show enough. Yeah. He's still dead to us now. We found this episode. He wanna be a fireman. <laughs> He's gonna be a fireman all his life. His dad don't wanna be a doctor, lawyer, run the investment and we don't firm. Care. He don't care. I don't care. Bucket. But he did get a call from um DA George. George said, Hey, <laughs> Detective Salisbury State. She, she did. literally <laughs> was laid out there on the concrete like a slab of state. Yeah. So that little immunity deal that she had with you, you know. It don't grandfather over, you know yeah. what I mean? So you need to come and talk to me and do that immediately. So that's what they ended up, you know, that's basically what... We never get anything out of Wyatt. Nah, uh-uh. Good. Like we say, he's dead to us. So, Candace redeemed herself with me because she had me scared last week. Huh. She told um, um, Charles Obama, listen, not today... Not tomorrow. any day, mm -mm. and especially not tomorrow. Don't you ever confront me about no bullshit about turning over on my brother. Do you know how much I love that boy? Huh. Should I turn myself in first? She said, um, you was married. You had a good wife, and you were madly in love with her. So I read, or was that all bullshit too? He said, no, I really uh, yeah. did love my wife. <laughs> he, she said, so see, if you know love like I know love, then you know what I got from my brother? Mm -mm. Matter of fact, get out. Get out. Do not come back. Do not pass go. Do not collect no. $200. See ya. He talking about some. Oh, you passed up the gift of a lifetime. She, she said, said mm -hmm. no. You, you did. did. And I'm not coming to your inauguration. So <laughs> what? I said, okay, here we go with this bullshit. <laughs> so then we over there at the jail. It's not the FEMA jail no more. They got a little upgrade. So they might have got that little. It uh, actually looks different than last season. Yeah, though. they got that government. Um, they got that guy doing um grant money in. Yeah, it actually looks like what it when you when you go to car deal and they work out the deals. That's what it looked like in there. The <laughs> <laughs> child fault. Yeah, work that deal on the dry that time. <laughs> so they ain't nothing out over there. we over there, and of course, Demonica actually got it arranged so that. Hannah can go in there and visit her son. But it was the funniest thing. When the cop came out and said, okay, we do have clearance for the grandmother to go in and to, and to see <laughs> Benny Young. <laughs> she gonna look over there at Hannah. Hannah said, I, I am, am not me. his grandmother. I, I am his me. mother. She was like, oh. Did I tell them that? I got it confused. You know, I heard some knees cracking. I thought it was your arthritis. <laughs> so come on here, girl. We ain't, we ain't got nothing to talk about. So... She gets back there in the room, and of course, Ben is like, Mama, Mama Mooney, Mama Mooney, Mama Mooney, help me out in your book. I didn't do it, Mama, I didn't do it, I swear to God, I did not kill, I did not kill him. She done told her, told her about, he done told her a thousand times, I did not kill Quincy. <laughs> like, y'all see on our robot, yeah, I did not murder him. him. <laughs> so, Ben said, Listen, I already told you that it was another dude. I don't remember his name right now, but he did it. But she, he already told her who it was. He told her, but he couldn't, but couldn't say it yeah. in front of Demonica. Yeah. So um, he went ahead and spilled the beans and said, hey, Secret Service was in here, and they already got my DNA. Demonica said, wait, wait, wait. Hold what? what? Hey, hold, hold, what? Uh, I'll be right back. No, no, no. Let me out here. I need to talk to some supervisors because I need to fix this bull skit. Mm -hmm. And next thing we know, she was on the phone with... um. Uh -huh. Um, Monty. Monty. And she wanted to know the names of the officers that were in there that's supposed to be Secret Service. Which I'm, I'm thinking really, that they're not. I'm really confused I'm about think, it right I'm now. I'm thinking that they're not. I think they're just doing that bull skit to set him to up. To buck with him. Yeah. So she's waiting to get a call back from <clears> him, <throat> from Monty. But 
Monte ain't called her back yet. So in the meantime, this is where we get the um, name of the episode from. We got old killer Catherine Kate over there. <laughs> All getting all cozy with old Mitch. Uh huh. And you know she a thick girl. You know what's thick girl? We know what we don't. She was looking him up and down like he was a piece of chocolate cake, boy. And um, she was like, "So, hey, how long have you known Benny? How long have you known Hannah? Do she know who you are?" He said, "Listen, I'm just Mitch." She said, "But you have a powerful last name." He said, "I told you, I'm, I'm just, just Mitch. Mitch." She said, "Listen, just as much as I just want to be." Kate, Catherine, Hargrove seems to always push through. <laughs> so, Mr. Mitch Malone, are you single? Ready to mingle? He started going like this. You know, you start doing like that. Boy, you nervous. He said, so, yeah. Well, why, no. you wanna, why, why you want to know? <laughs> she said, because I'm about to be single real soon. And I could use a man like you around the he house. Said, oh, yeah? <laughs> he said, how, how much you paying? How much you paying? She said, Damn. She said, when I'm done with you, you gonna be paying me. He was in that right? She said, he said, he said, you playing? <laughs> Shoot, that old lady showed him some stuff he ain't never seen before. Hello. That's why them cougars were getting their game and getting them young guys, boy. Turn them right out. Turn them out. Turn them out. So while Demonica is sitting out there, she hasn't went back in there with Benny yet. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Made the other officer that was at the front desk go back to the back. Made up a story and made her to disappear. He gonna yank up the Monica. Snatched her up. I, said, I was like, all right, yeah, 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 you thug. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Like, he you said, know, you wrong, but I need somebody to get her. Somebody. So he said, listen, didn't I tell you to delete the video? She said, I won't do that. He said, you don't know who you dealing with. He keep on giving them vague <laughs> threats to her. She was like... And, and what you going to do? He said, you don't know what I'm capable of. And she said, you don't know what I'm capable of. I mean, what you going to do? She said, what you, what you going to hit me with your, with your rainbows? What she said, what you going to do? Hit me with strawberries? Strawberries and, and, and rainbows and <laughs> feathers. <laughs> I said, she said, look at you. Got a little nervous twitch to you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something else I'll use, too. She said, but I will expose you. And I'll show your wife everything that you did in court in front of everybody. Keep playing with me, because I told you to leave my son, but did you do it? No. You got him yanked up on the stairwells and all that good stuff, wanting to do something strange for him for no change. <laughs> I told you. Okay. Let's play. So I'm like, okay, Demonica. She didn't get on my nerves as much this week, but it, it's, it's, it's kind of It's all now. built up, see, so it's it ain't no redemption now. from that. Yeah. So we got Hannah back again. She's still blaming everything on Candace, which we, I can't even I can't even say that it ain't all Candace, because at this point it kind of is all Candace. And she was like, "That girl, that girl, everything that she did, everything she touched turns to skit. She, you ain't here because of this. You ain't there because of that. Her son did because of this." And I'm like, "Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever." But she said, "You know what? Don't trust that hoe, Demonica. Don't trust that hoe." He said, "We ain't got no choice. Do we hey. got choices right now?" Yeah, yeah. Do, hey, do you got three hundred dollars an hour to pay a good lawyer to handle this bullshit? She don't even have gas money. She can't even get an oil change on that BMW right now. <laughs> and that ain't no regular oil change, trust me. Cause no. I was getting ready to buy one, and oh, when yeah. they told me what the oil changes was, I said, "Oh, that's like going." I'll get take the, the Nissan. The oil change is like going to get the paint job. Yeah, I said I'll take the Nissan. You know, I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> when my oil changes is forty dollars. Hey, so if you want to get a luxury car, you better do you the better, research. You better ask them what the maintenance and you, cost. And is. you might be able to afford the payment, but you may not be able to afford that maintenance. Uh, -uh that's why you hear BMW hey. banging in there, sound like truck. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they can't afford the maintenance on that joke. So then. <laughs> While we sitting there, still at the jail, right? We see George. We ain't seen George in a minute. Now, Wait a minute. No, no, no. We got to back up. Well, uh, freaking Hannah pissed me off and she said she refused to tell Candace that Q is dead. Yeah. That's bullshit. You a mama yourself. What if somebody decided to tell you and Benny died that she ain't ref they refused to because tell you, mad with you because they mad with you? That's bullshit right there. That's some bull. Well... It's Hannah we deal with. Well, yeah, now you can talk about June Tile. <laughs> <laughs> June Tile came down there to the to the courthouse, I mean to the jailhouse and said, Hey, Catherine, gotta talk to you for a minute. Gotta talk to you about that um DA Salisbury State. Her dead. Last person she called was you. 
<laughs> what is up with all these? All the these. last signal that pinged off the table. <laughs> yeah, that's what house. I had on power this week. His last thing. She said, oh, oh, really? So then Demonica sprang into action. I said, you good for something. She said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You ain't Catherine. You, you can't be asking no questions. This ain't court. You need a you need a restaurant warrant for this bill get. She said, Don't you say another word. And matter of fact, you meet me at the house in 15 minutes. He said, he said, Well, Dawn, you represent everybody. She said, I sure do. I sure do. Yeah, I think everybody be talking skit about Veronica, but she they lawyer though. <laughs> They be pissed off at him but when they get the crush. Hey, you know, can you be my lawyer? We good? We yeah. good? Yeah, we good. So, <laughs> so next thing we know, we see, and I'm gonna skip forward, I'm gonna skip around. We see God Doe and Veronica D. Monica over there with gasoline. You know the devil travels with her <laughs> own thing of gasoline. And you know she's good with matches, and she's good with gasoline. Y'all yeah. remember what she tried to do and to her husband? And she's good at trying to burn up men too, <laughs> aka her husband. So she over at the house dowsing. Catherine said, "What the hell is you doing?" She's about to burn it down. She can't. You can't burn my house down. No evidence. No case. She said. She said, "Is Jim in there?" I would really love for him to be <laughs> in there. So Catherine said, "I'm not going." Forget it. F it. <laughs> She said, you sure he ain't in there? Oh, I would love for him to be in there. Catherine said, I don't even care. He could be in there on the slow roads. I don't even care. Look, if you smell something that smell like brute, it's him. <laughs> he in there on slow roads. <laughs> so then we see Candace, right? Candace goes to see Erica. And I said, wait a minute. I know that you know that I know that you know that you don't trust her. But why are you going over there spilling all the beans about what just happened with you and Charles Obama? And I said, you got to be smarter than this, and she will us. Yeah, she ain't telling who it was. There, and she said, listen, and why did Erica have them black panty hoes on? <laughs> Neither here nor there. She was way back on David. So, mm -hmm. staying ready. She had thigh highs on, that's what it was. So, she tells her, like, hey, I had a John, the biggest John. I mean, the biggest John. Had him set up, ready to go. He's, he's a little tricky. I had his eyes rolling in the back of his head, child. But she said, the thing about it is, when he's drunk, he's nice. But when he's sober, he mean as he, a mother he's the devil. I said, that is that is real backwards. Yeah, you is the opposite way around. <laughs> yeah, it's using the opposite, man. But she said, he told me that he can make all my problems go away. And said that if I give up my brother Benny, he can make that Quincy thing go away if I let him pin it on Benny. And Erico... Open up, her, her like, mouth. why did you open up your mouth? And she said, well, I don't think that was such a bad idea, a bad plan. Candace hit her I mean, so it, it, freaking hard. Could you some people be like, that it knocked um, my earring out. I don't it, even know where my earring is. Be like, uh, what you, you some people like, what you just say? No. Candace said, this. I said it. Candace says, say, look, she reminded me of Big Red. Say it one more time. What's my <laughs> office hours? Nine to five. She said, don't forget, you still is my bottom B. And yeah. you didn't bring in much money. And don't forget, my name is Candace, and I will throw you off this roof. Matter of fact, said, matter of fact, you need to hurry up and, and work on David. Matter of fact, you ought to have a credit card number by now. Mm. And she said, oh, I'm going to need another dress. But while we're talking about dresses. I was like, oh. I said, Ooh. She said, remember that dress you let me borrow? Mm-hmm. She said, for some reason, there was a distinct smell in that dress. And I could not figure it out for the life of me. And she said, then I thought about it. That nasty gutter smelling war. She was like, oh, oh, I never mess with war. No, she said, uh-huh, mm -hmm. you better not be. I'm watching you. I said, they said we know when Candace left up out of there, Erica goes in the bathroom, whoa, whoa, you gotta come get her. She, she is here. here. She is here. Boy said, look, listen, I got something he else said, going on. I got something, I got something else going on. In that stanking room that they're yeah. still in. <laughs> that must be done. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I don't ever um, underestimate people or try to size them up by the way they look because the ones that don't look like they can do skit is the ones you need to watch out for. But um, Warlock Squad didn't look like they was worth two pennies. Nah. 
two pennies at all. They, I they, said, they look like, we talk about some. What did they say? We they, get ready to go to the restaurant. You, y'all? Yeah. Y'all. The ones that I just seen in that room, y'all. They thugs and training. <laughs> they ain't got their papers yet. They ain't got no papers yet. <laughs> They gonna go over there to the restaurant, mess around. I'm having a bad, bad day. And yeah, they talking about going to the Malone restaurant. Yes! You go. They ain't graduated yet. They, the, she would do them like um, dude did on Power. She would eat them up. Yep. She would make a stew out of them hot pots. Wanna be thug soup. <laughs> well, hey, everybody coming back every week. What's that special you had last week? <laughs> thug soup. Thug soup. Wanna okay. be thug soup. What was that? Wanna be thug soup. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. So what else happened? Lord have mercy. I think I'm almost done. Praise the Lord. Now we had our Char uh, freaking um, Charles Obama and them coming back in. and um, No, we ain't. Oh, we at? Who leading to me? Go on, go on. Go on, drive, go on, drive it, buddy. Go on, drive it. We over at the hospital. That's why I said that Melissa need to go to church with me over at Calvary. She need to go to the Holy Convocation, wear her all white, and put her little um, dolly on top of her head, put her two <laughs> Bible pins right here to keep it in place. So when you shout... And she got to put those um, freaking tambourine shoes on, too. <laughs> the ones you saw on Instagram. Yeah. Her mama come in there while Jeffrey was sitting there trying to console her. She already don't feel Jeffrey at all. Nah, nah. Now we realize why Melissa is the way she is. She got it on both sides. And she told all us that sides. Her, she told us that her mama was just like Demonica. We didn't kind of believe it. But she nah, said, listen. Yeah. She said, here you go. At this again. Third time around. What killing yourself going to do? I already got to bury your daddy. Did I need to take care of you? Girl, get yourself together. Grow up. Just grow up. And I'm sitting here like... Didn't your husband just die? You ain't here talking cash money skit. Yeah. <laughs> what is happening with these people? Tell me something. We already owe Veronica all this money. So, uh, so then Jeffrey said, you know, there is help for things like this. There's counseling. She said, we don't have money. We don't take handouts. We're like, uh, what were you guys just doing uh, with Veronica and your husband? She said, we already owed it in my life. Yeah, that was that was kind of a handout in exchange for your daughter. But this was the funny thing. She said, we don't take handouts. But I heard you take hand jobs, though. Where'd that come from? What the hell that got to do with yeah. it? Jeffrey got it, though. Jeffrey said, whether you gay or straight, Everybody anybody can get, get a hand, hand job. job. <laughs> that's what I was like. I was like, that was stupid. And I'm sitting here like, that's why your husband died. He was like, hell, if I can't get a hand job, I might as well clock out. Uh -huh, let me get out of here. <laughs> Maybe I'll get one on the other side in heaven. <laughs> with, with my virgin. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> say, say my, uh, my wife won't say, do it for me. Say, when I get to heaven, I'm going to get me a hashtag hand job. And what the hogs when say? And leave the nuts hanging out. <laughs> Where the grapefruit at? <laughs> so, um, next thing we know, so, yeah, I felt sorry for Melissa, and I said she got to go to church with me. Yeah. She was like, Jeffrey, see, now you know how I feel. You see what I got to deal with? I said, dang, girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I <sighs> feel for you, man. I can't imagine. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I don't never condone nobody wanting to check out, but I see why you want to check out. Yeah. But I hope you get delivered. Yeah. She going to church for me. She going to get it. <clears throat> I'm going to take her to the altar. I'm going to travail with her until she get it right. All right. And then I'm going to take her to counseling because Jesus put counselors here for a reason. See, us black folk don't like to go to counselors and stuff because they, they think it's a sign of not trusting God or, or a or, sign or of weakness. Or being weak. No, no, no. Nuh -uh. These are trained professionals. When you go, when you get sick and you got bronchitis in your chest, you feel your chest tightening up. Don't you go to the guy doing ER, mm -hmm. urgent care, primary yep. care. These people are trained to save your goddamn life. Yeah. They're yeah. trained to get in your head and make you think straight. Hello. Huh? Huh? Shoot, I had a membership one time. I might need to check back in, though. <laughs> but y'all like my crazy, though. My crazy is funny. Like, I don't be trying to do nothing to nobody. You are right, fo. Yeah, but sometimes I feel like I won't go there. Uh -huh. But I'm good. I'm, I've been good That's for right. a long, long time. This long, he don't go to jail. Nah. I ain't flipped out in a long time. It's been years. Uh, you know the last time I flipped out. Because you had to pick me up and take me out. <laughs> take me on a ride. Uh -huh. Make the me FedEx. <laughs> you know it's bad when your husband got to take you to the FedEx take parking lot. FedEx. So you could just cool off. Because hey, y'all probably like, why in the hell did y'all go to FedEx when she flipped out? I don't know. I was riding. 
I was yeah. out there. I, I didn't even know I was at the FedEx until I, I get us to. another story that we had to tell him another day. Yeah, we're gonna tell y'all enough of that. Y'all, y'all probably like y'all have said that like ten times or ten stories. I ain't heard yeah. no booze get from y'all yet. One day. Yeah. One day, one day, one day. So Charles Obama comes over to Candace's room. And Candace was like, if you come back over here with this bullshit, I told you I'm not the one. I'm not, I'm not giving up my brother. I don't want to hear it. So he looks at her with all sincerity. I said, oh, hell. Here you go. We're going we, we, we to find out. Are we going to find out? He said, listen, I was told that I needed to speak at this um, conference about gun violence and da-da-da-da-da. And he said, I came to find out that one of the kids that were a victim of the um, gun violence What's your son? Candace was like, right, come what again? You do, what you do to my son? He said, I didn't do anything to your son. She said, is my son okay? He said, no, he's not going to make, make it. it. And I was like, why didn't you just come out and tell her that her son's dead already? Been dead for a while. Yeah. But anyway, so then she, he looks over there at Atlanta because she was like, what? What happened? Where? And he said it was a shooting at the Fountain Drop Hotel. So that way she knew. She got is that was a trigger be like, man, because that's I, what just, I left there. And she just put them out. She was like, get out, get out, get out. And she was in that room just going through it. She was like, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Mm -hmm. And it basically went off from there. But next week looked like it's going to be good again. But we know Tyler will piss us off. He will piss us right off. He will spend his, all his little budget. Tricking us for the next week. Yeah. And give us some booze. Get Maybe he might have came in this episode and made some changes to shut us up. But, hey, you ain't shut me up. If next week is booze get, I'm going to say it booze get. Mm-hmm. And if it goes off booze get, I ain't reviewing this stuff next, hey. next season. But uh, we got to go because we, we got to go to our church. Oh, yeah. Praise and worship. So get ready to start. Yeah, indeed. Straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Hello. Hello.